Hey friends and happy 4th of July. Tonight we are celebrating at Epcot. They are bringing back the special firework tag, the Heartbeat of America. They're also going to be turning Spaceship Earth to the Stars and Stripes and I cannot wait to check that out. We're going to ride some rides and eat some special 4th of July food and just have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. It is extremely hot out today, but it's a beautiful 4th of July. It is 93 degrees out, but because of the humidity, it feels like 102 degrees, and I am feeling it. We're going to be meeting up with a bunch of friends later on and celebrating all around World Showcase. And I am so excited. Like, it is so awesome to be able to come to Epcot on 4th of July. Yesterday, we celebrated at Magic Kingdom because they were doing their uh, uh, 4th of July fireworks, the 3rd and the 4th. So tonight, we get to see Epcot's uh, 4th of July fireworks, and I'm excited. I think our first stop of the evening is going to be here at Connections Cafe. They have a special 4th of July liege waffle. And I love that they're doing seasonal waffles now. I can't wait to see if they're going to do something for Halloween and Christmas. I feel like I dressed appropriately for the 4th of July. I'll give you guys a little fit check. I got the Captain America Roosevelt shirt on. I got the America fedora on. And I have a lot of fedoras that I don't wear often. This is one of them. I literally just have a closet full that I just kind of like to collect. But also, I got on the perfect footwear for 4th of July, I feel like. Normally, I always wear sneakers to the parks, but for some reason, I felt like wearing these bad boys out. Got some croc action. This is perfect for 4th of July, and maybe I can tan my feet a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> And I got some black shorts on. I do have a matching Captain America short set. I should have wore that, but I forgot. And now let's go get that waffle. Let's go get that waffle. Here is a look at the 4th of July liege waffle. And it looks really good. A brioche dough with a pearl sugar. $3.99. It's got a little hidden Mickey on it. Well, it's not so hidden, but I'm excited. It looks really fun and festive. Wow, take a look at all of these amazing things that are happening back here. It's like we've got a chocolate fondue right there. And then you can see them making the 4th of July waffles. Look, you can see the little Mickeys on the uh, wax paper right there. That is so interesting. I didn't even know they make that chocolate in-house. They make the chocolate things right here. A lot of people always head over to the Connections Eatery to get the waffle because that's where they sell the liege waffle over there. But the uh, special seasonal waffles are here at the Connections Cafe, the Starbucks basically. Holy moly, we might have to come back for that waffle. I have never seen the line for this Starbucks be this long. Take a look at this, holy moly. It is a busy, busy day at 4th of July. <laughs> I can't even believe this is all switchbacks too. That is insane. Like. Wow, and this is the lobby of people that are actually waiting to get their stuff. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to come back. Mostly all of the locals know to come to Epcot on the 4th of July because they can see the 4th of July fireworks on the 3rd. So that's what a lot of people have done. And it was super hard to get a reservation for Epcot today. I actually had to go to Hollywood Studios first, touch in and then park hop. So we're gonna be looking at a very busy day. It's also the very last day for the Flower and Garden Festival today. So this is the last day to look at all the beautiful topiaries and also to grab any of the flower and garden food. And food and wine should be starting in just a couple of days. I think we're gonna make our way right on over to America. We're going to America, Fabrizio. And I was thinking maybe we should take the friendship boat. Like we'll actually board the boat here and it'll take us over to Morocco and then we have to just walk right there. A very fancy little boat ride. The reason I want to head right on over to America is because if they're doing any special photo opportunities or anything like that, it's going to be over in America. So I want to get that done because, you know, whenever you come out for these holidays, you want to get the, the special things done first. We might be able to sit outside maybe. I love coming on the boat. Actually, one time I watched the fireworks from here and it was so amazing. Best fireworks show ever. Goodbye. We'll never forget you. That's two Titanic references. Let me know if you caught any of them.
And we made it. We made it to Morocco. Now that we're over in America, I tried rushing over here because I wanted to catch the last Voices of Liberty show, but it looks like I missed it. I missed the Voices of Liberty. I'm a little upset about it because that's like the best thing to do for 4th of July. And now M80 is on the stage, and that's a really cool band. It's a mixture of 80s like, covers and uh, kind of just adds to the 4th of July vibes. Look at this. Doesn't it just scream 4th of July? We got the beat, we got the beat, we got the beat. They have a special 4th of July photo opportunity right here outside of the American Adventure. So I definitely have to stop and get my photo taken. They actually have two different 4th of July photo opportunities. They have this one that says July 4th with Pluto holding an American flag. And then they have the other one over here that's just a regular uh, 4th of July Mickey. I think it's right here. I can show you guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Right there. Holy moly. M80s is playing some amazing music. Like, I'm loving this. We might have to come back later and catch their later shows. This is pretty awesome. Now I think we should head on into Regal Eagle Barbecue, get something to eat, and uh, kind of just hang out in the American Pavilion for a little bit. Here at the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, they have barbecue from all around the country. Kansas City smoked chicken, Memphis pork ribs, Texas beef brisket, and North Carolina smoked pork butt. So we're gonna get ourselves some good Americana food. I also love the theming of this uh, restaurant in here too. I'll show you. I mean, it's Muppet based, but not too much Muppet, just a little bit of Muppet. And of course, Sam Eagle. Look at it in here. Like, <laughs> doesn't this just say 4th of July? I mean, this is it. I mean, this is the best restaurant to come for on the 4th of July. And just like that, here we are. Look at this. I love it. I am so excited. And I have to say, it is really awesome to get the kids meal because if you get the kids meal, you get two smaller portions and the smaller portions don't look that small. Like that is insane. And you get two sides with them too. So I ended up getting the watermelon salad, the baked beans with burnt eggs, French fries. And then uh, I had to get the banana pudding because this right here might be my all time favorite dessert in Epcot. It is that good. The banana pudding here is beyond like Omega. It is <laughs> that amazing. And it's like the perfect 4th of July meal. So we're gonna dive in. Little water Malone. I am so excited to dive into the pork butt here. I'm actually gonna grab a little bit just so I can try a little sample. A little sample and I got some barbecue sauce over here. Just a dab, just a dab. Ooh, that is good. But I feel like you don't need the barbecue sauce. And especially if you have the baked beans with the burn ends, add that to your uh, pulled pork. That's the way to do it. It looks like they give you about one, two, two bones on the ribs for the kids meal. And the only thing I just keep on thinking about is that banana pudding. Like it is so amazing, but you know, I'm gonna grab a little watermelon, a little watermelon first. I love watermelon. Look at this, but it's like as a side, it's like not even a slice of watermelon when you cut it up. You know what I mean? It's not even a slice of watermelon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pork butt and then I'm gonna grab a little beans, just like that. I'm gonna try to be very delicate today because I don't wanna end up with a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt. Now let's check in on these ribs here. What do you guys think? I've had all of this before. Oh, it's three bones. They give you three bones. I thought it was only two. I've had all of this before. And Regal Eagle is like one of the best quick services because like, you know, it's something different than the traditional burgers and hot dogs and stuff. But let me know what you guys think about the barbecue. There we go. I'm gonna rip them apart here. They actually won't come apart. <laughs> Look at, I'm like trying to pull on the ribs here. Oh, there we go. Took a little strength, but I got it. I mean, they're pretty good. They're, they're okay ribs, but it's not like the best ribs in the world. I really do love the pork, though, and the watermelon. Those are my favorite things so far. I, and, and I already know that the banana pudding is going to be my favorite thing out of everything because that's just sensational. Sensational. Enough with the meats. It's time for the banana pudding. 
let me know if you've ever had this banana pudding because you know what I'm talking about when I say it's amazing. Look, it's got them all the way down here too. I'm gonna try to get that bottom cookie. Oh. Don't ever sleep on the banana pudding. 100% best dessert in Epcot, in my opinion. You let me know, but for me, this is it. Now that we got a pretty decent 4th of July meal in us, I want to keep moving around World Showcase. But I noticed like this little gazebo or kind of like 4th of July area over here. And I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, like I don't even know what they use it for, but I wanted to take a quick peek see. It's actually right over here uh, behind Regal Eagle. I don't even know what this is for. It's just randomly here. And like sometimes they have character Palooza back here. So I wonder if they had some special meet and greets or if they plan on having some special meet and greets because this is really, this is really nice. Very pretty back here. Seriously, it is completely off the beaten path. I don't know. I don't even understand it. Before we leave the uh, American Pavilion, I do want to grab a Moonshine Sour. Now, if you guys have never had one of these drinks before, this is the most popular drink in Epcot. I uh, had a chance to actually talk to the person that is in charge of food and beverage here at Epcot, and he told me that this is the most ordered uh, alcoholic beverage here at Epcot. And it is, it's a pretty good beverage. It's a little on the sweeter side, but a lot of people love it. And you can get it right here at the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, and it's $15. Old Smoky Blackberry Moonshine, Blood Orange, Blackberry, and Lemon. Look at that. Fancy. All right, everyone. We got the best-selling drink in Epcot, the Blackberry Moonshine. That's Cheers. The way. Cheers. Cheers. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Yeah. Meow. 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 Woo. If you guys don't know, I ran into my friends. We got Kyle right here, two days in a row. Yeah, this is the way, 4th of July celebrations. And we got Jojo and Krista, and we got some uh, moonshine sour. Yeah, cheers, happy 4th. Here we go. Now that we got a big group of friends, I think we're gonna go and scout out a spot to watch the fireworks. Tonight's a pretty important night, and I'm excited to see the heartbeat of America. And like I said, it's a tag, so it's on the end of Harmonious. It's a regular show, just added a little special 4th of July touch to it. And this is the first time with the barges out there, so I'm excited to see what they project on there. And also, I'm still like curious if they shoot the fireworks off behind America, because they used to do that in the past. So I guess we'll find out. Look at this. Everyone's all camping out already, and another hour and a half till the fireworks begin. We gotta, we gotta do it too. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we gotta Let's find go. a spot. We gotta, we gotta get it. Look, there's the tripods. They're ready. Why is that not us? That should have been us. That should have been us. We should have been ready. Should have been prepared. <laughs> oh look, they have tape. Oh my god. Oh wow. Tape in Epcot. Look at this. <laughs> Honestly, we're we are really having a hard time finding a good spot and there's like several hours before the fireworks show actually happens. Look down here. People are holding up spots. All right, it looks like we found a pretty decent spot. You know, it's kind of my go-to spot usually whenever I know there's like a special fireworks show happening and it's not too crowded so we're gonna hold up a spot for a little bit and just wait. Here is our spot right behind the Rosen Crown and you got a good spot like right here viewing the barges But also I think they're gonna be shooting off the fireworks above America right there So you kind of want to have it this spot right here, and it would be perfect Another cheers for the 4th of July here cheers Oh, yeah, oh, yeah <laughs> oh, you got a boomerang. No, I didn't look. Oh, it's that's not a boomerang. What is that? I tag everyone. The fireworks are going to start in just a couple of minutes. And like I said before, they're going to do regular harmonious first. And then they're going to go into the heartbeat of America. Like they're going to do the 4th of July fireworks. And it is so amazing. I'm going to show just a little bit of harmonious. Just a little bit. But I'm going to put in the whole show of the 4th of July because I expect it to be the biggest firework display ever. Like, it's gonna crush it. Like, from what I hear, because this is the first time, no one has ever seen this show before. Like, it's never been seen before, and I'm excited. 
Happy to paddle every way. <laughs> oh, I think it's time. It's only harmonious, and then the holiday tag comes on. Maybe it's not you. Of a far off place where a hero's welcome will be waiting for me. Let's do it, fireworks, go now! Moly.
Firework right there. Keep it. That's a souvenir. <laughs> Look at that. That's a shell, right? Yeah. Holy cow. Kyle I thought it was a wood chip. <laughs> I want a firework. Yeah. Can... I'll take one right here. Thank you. Look, I got a piece still. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting it in my pocket. I'm gonna keep it forever. <laughs> Those fireworks were amazing. Holy moly, I felt like my whole entire body shaking. Like, it was insane. I don't even know if the video can do, like, justice, but it was incredible. Like, I'm still kind of shocked by it, and wow. I mean, it's just so amazing. And technically, tonight is extra magic hours for our deluxe resort guests. So everything's still gonna be open till like 11 o'clock at night and you can do whatever you wanna, like you can go in, shop, you can go grab drinks or eat. The only thing is, is that unless you're staying at a deluxe resort, you can't ride rides. So the night is still young, technically. And even though it's past nine o'clock and the park is officially closed, like I said, because of extra magic hours, you can actually still come into Rosen Crown, grab a drink or you can get some fish and chips. It's really awesome. Hey, you! <laughs> hey, hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? As I was actually just standing here, I realized my arms are covered in ash. Like, you can see it on my arms. I can't wait to show you guys. I know, look at that. It's, I'm covered in ash. 
on both of my arms. I was standing in front of you. <laughs> I probably took the, the brunt of the blow. Yes, yeah, I protected you. <laughs> Now we're going to start making our way back out to the front of the park and we're going to try to catch this special uh, stars and stripes on Spaceship Earth. It looked amazing, but from where we were standing and waiting for the fireworks, we couldn't see it. So hopefully they still have it going on. All right. I mean, that's pretty good. I'm not too Ready. sure if you Thank can you. see Thank it from you. here, but yes. it does you look pretty not. good. <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit closer. Maybe it'll stay, but I want to at least show you for a second. Where'd they go? Seriously, that is actually really pretty. I wish they had like a show though. Like I don't think they're doing like a special song or anything like that. You could sing. I could sing. As we're making our way out, not only is the spaceship Earth all representing and being patriotic, but even these lights down here too. Look, it's all red and white, but no blue. But they definitely change it to reflect 4th of July. Hey friend! Happy 4th of July, like your Captain America shirt. <laughs> now take a look at it from the front angle. And it looks so good. And you can see the stars on the top. They're kind of like shining. I don't know if there's 50 of them. I don't think they can fit all of the, the stars and stripes on there. It'd be pretty cool if they could. But I don't think it's possible. And I think it's just really beautiful. Oh, look at the fedora. I love it. Thank you, Natalie. That's a beautiful. I think it looks fantastic. Let's take a picture of these. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. And with that, I think we are going to be calling it a night here. What a 4th of July. Like, seriously, it was so fun coming here, hanging out at Epcot, and also being able to see that amazing fireworks show. Like, I'm still kind of shocked from it. Like, I still, I'm still, like, in awe because it just felt so crazy. I felt it inside my chest. Like, my whole body shook. It was phenomenal. But let me know, what do you guys think? If you watched my video from yesterday, I showed you Magic Kingdom's fireworks, and then tonight as Epcot, and I'm gonna have to say I'm Team Epcot. Like, that was way better than Magic Kingdom. Like, <laughs> it was pretty phenomenal. But overall, such an amazing day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!